Hello again, it's Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. This is a very brief post today, looking specifically at interest rate movements around the world. Just a quick one today. I wanted to draw your attention to just three charts. The first chart is the US 10-year Treasury bond rate, which continues to rise, not surprisingly given the momentum in the US economy, particularly around employment, even though wages remain relatively constrained. The second chart shows the impact on US mortgage rate, which also continues to climb. And of course, that's directly connected back to those elevated bond yields and bond rates. And then the third chart is LIBOR, which is the uh, interbank offer rate out of London, which is also rising and has actually been rising very fast. If you put all of that data together, it really underscores the fact that rates around the world are on the way up. Now, that has a very interesting and potentially profound impact on rates locally here in Australia. There are two factors to bear in mind. The first is that a lot of the banks, particularly the large ones, need to access those international capital markets. And that means that over time, their funding costs are going to rise. And the second is that as rates around the world rise, the impact then flows through to the exchange rate and it will be therefore harder for the Reserve Bank to maintain its current low levels of interest rates. And they may well have to follow sometime relatively soon. And in fact, in the light of those international rate rises that I'm seeing, I'm expecting the RBA to move perhaps sooner than I was expecting even two or three weeks ago. So in summary, rates are on the way up. And that could have a very significant impact even locally down here, bearing in mind that many households are really sailing close to the wind with mortgage repayments and other debts when interest rates are so low. And in my next edition, I'm going to explore further the question of to what extent high debt levels is actually directly responsible for high home prices. If you found this useful, please do like the post. And if you subscribe, great, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. If you have yet to subscribe, please do so to receive future updates. I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Many thanks for taking the time to watch.